Hey everyone, and welcome back to Laura and Amazon Princess. I am here with, well, I can't think of more adjectives right now because I'm too sleepy, but the wonderful and amazing Sim Sugar, otherwise known as Laura. Hi guys! And the <laughs> articulate and awesome Simon Parsons. I'm just, yeah, I like, I just took all my, my ADD medicine and I'm sleepy. So <laughs> yeah, Simon's here. He's awesome. Look, I'm tired, sorry. All right. Okay. I'm with, with her. <laughs> and I'm here with him. Is that enough? Can we get on with this now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. So we left it at a big fat cliffhanger last time. So what are we going to do, Saren? Simon, this is this is your wheelhouse. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm here with these two sleepy people. And I've just had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to def defuse this. I think we need to be either friendly or joking. Um, what do you guys think? I don't. I mean, like Draco seems to have a pretty good sense of humor. Yeah, so, joke, joking's. I mean, if if our if our guess is right, then he's he's going to be pretty relaxed at this moment. Perhaps we can defuse it a little bit. <laughs> okay, because the polymesh is being an ass hat, <laughs> and that's one hell of a hat to be an ass in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's big. You're charming, Draco, but you really do. But that ah, put words, more coffee. <laughs> you're charm. You're charming, Draco, but you really do need to think of some more convincing lies. <laughs> As he said, Apollo, use your magic. We need to be safe. Okay. What? Bippity boppity boop. <coughs> God, sorry. No, I'm innocent. Polymesho raised his sta staff towards Draco menacingly. I can I can make words with my mouth. <laughs> That's good. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, high-pitched screeching pierced everyone's ears and they clasped their heads in pain. What's that awful noise? You've been singing it again, Saren. <laughs> Shut up, man. Stay behind me. I'll protect you. <laughs> no, closer. Rub up against me. <laughs> Shadow creatures. Your Highness, get behind me. No, closer. Rub up against me. <laughs> Sarah tried to catch a glimpse of what was tormenting them, but only flashes of darkness could be seen briefly. And then, suddenly, a hulking dark form presented itself right in front of them. Are we going to have another battle? Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, well, it's lots of XP and more money, I suppose. Oh, they, yeah. they, they must have spent a long time drawing those. Yeah, it looks like they, uh, <laughs> they were... <laughs> yeah. Laura's, like, dying here. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Uh... You wanted Shadow Men? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You two just keep the conversation going while I try to... Uh... <laughs> Oh, and they, they're giving effects. You might want to chuck just to yeah. make sure they're doing. They. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So, so is the red Poison. just for my own sort of benefit? The blue is their mana, and the red mm -hmm. is the health. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've just had someone hammering on the wall. <laughs> um. All right. So someone's hammering on your your, your wall. <laughs> yeah. What like you like your. Neighbor? Yes. <laughs> Used a bit. Well, do you ever hear them? Um, occasionally. Well, I'd be hammering back every time they made a noise. Then <laughs> cheeky bombs. <laughs> I hate okay, neighbors. Paralyze, paralyze did not work on them, so yeah. and that probably won't work either. She really again. needs a better sword. Then again, they're a bit fragile. So we'll probably just go through them quite quickly. Yeah, they seem to be. Mm. I thought you were talking about your neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can take them out really easily, Simon. <laughs> like, Just go oh, over there and put them what? in a camel clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the silliest noise. They are not very weak to magic, though. Uh, we're going to take advantage of his AoE, though. Well, they're weak to fire magic, apparently. 
Saren. Let's get rid of this dude. You guys got to keep talking while I do this. I thought we were speeding this up. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so we finished the battle. We can level up three of our characters. We got 94 gold and agate that we can sell. It's only worth 40 gold, but whatever. And 222 experience. So shall we level up? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay, Lauren first. Let's see what the audio auto assign does. Two in skill, one in will. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Um, put the will into strength. Okay. Yeah, that works. And, uh, because we, yeah, we've been using her bow stuff, and we've been using her, her slappy slaps, so. Mm. <laughs> That's the technical term. Slappy slaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, no mercy. <laughs> Needs target to be staggered. Incites all party members, giving a plus 10%. Oh, we could get an attack bonus. Mm. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, like a rallying cry. Yes, let's mm. get that. So she's done. Mm. There you go, girl. By these breasts, I command you. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for Dora, two in skill and one in will. Her strength is kind of irrelevant at this point. Yeah, um, I'd say that so, looks good. Yeah, that's cool. She has no skill points, so we're done with her. And Draco. I think it must be every other level that they get skill points. So he gets none but two in will, one in skill. I think, Makes sense. I think Will, yes, increases his mm -hmm. magic and skills going to... Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, we could really pump the shit out of his magic and get it to an even 20. Why not? Let's go for it. Okay. There we go. Yeah. That was much faster than the last time we were trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Very sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, winning. <laughs> winning. Mm. <laughs> winning. <laughs> they got Adonis, uh DNA and tiger blood. They huffed and caught their <laughs> breaths. <laughs> but before Draco could recover, Apollyamasha whipped his staff in, er, towards him, entangling the fire mage in a web of light. The light coiled around him and bound him tightly. You know what, though? That's unfair because without Draco, we would not have won that fight. <laughs> you know, there there is yes. so going to be gay fan fiction being written about this afterwards, you know this, don't you? <laughs> you know. You know, all of you, if you like writing gay slash fiction, I encourage you to do it. <laughs> I encourage you to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to do it and send it to April. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't send me gay slash fiction. Not, not unless oh. you're, like, over 18. But like... <laughs> <laughs> you set those shadows upon us. Laura's like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Jumping caterpillars. How many times do I have to say you're wrong about me? Get these things off me. They hurt my eyes. Just how, just how long has the Empire hated elves so that they need to imprison them on sight? 
commentary. The old mage was silent, focusing on restraining Draco with his magic, but Saren knew he was also silent because he didn't want to answer. It's the same for dwarves, but he's right. The elves do get in trouble every day from you folk. Is this true? Is your suspicion of Draco merely because he is part elf? I didn't ask to be born with pointy ears. I wanted to be born a dragon, actually. He <laughs> 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 really is a bit dim, isn't he? He's, he's, pretty, he's, he's the pretty blonde one, isn't he, that's just yeah. a bit thick, but normally yeah. it's a woman, but it's actually a boy. I wanted to be a unicorn Draco when I was little. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you skipped. Oh, right. no, I didn't. It went back. There you go. Oh, did it? Okay. I have him bound because shadow men only come when called. Someone called these creatures to us. He must have done it. <laughs> Why must he have done it? The shadow men follow their master's crystal. Does he own one? They are mighty the rare. They still will. <laughs> oh, man. What if Dor is the traitor? Search his things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a polymath show, but what if they went with, like, Dora? Saren reluctantly walked over to Draco's private bag and unfurled it. Careful with that. Crash. Silence. <laughs> There's actually just a badger in there. <laughs> in <laughs> inside were his simple belongings. Spare clothes, a secret stash of rations, a mirror, and a tightly bound heavy object. Saren tensed when he reached for it. Oh god, no, not my porn collection. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling it out and unwrapping the heavy object revealed a bright shining stone in the darkness. The entire, entirety, the entire party gaped at the glowing rock. Bless me, beard. <laughs> Draco, you, you really are? What? Polymetro silenced him with a quick whack of his staff and magic fell around Draco. His eyes fluttered as if he were drunk and or under Polymetro's complete control. You have lied to this party and put us all in danger. You will reveal your secrets to us at once. I will reveal my, my secrets. Sir, no! You have in your hands the proof of his treachery. Your Highness! Interrogate him. Saren frowned, but it had to be done. Even though he was against such magic because he saw how it could be used for evil, they had to know the truth. Tell us your secret, Draco Firestarter. My secret. My secret is... The party leaned in closer, boiling with anticipation to know <laughs> who had hired him. <laughs> I do not think Lauren is attractive. <laughs> uh, you're gonna think it about me, aren't you? <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Lauren drew her sword, but Saren restrained her. Oh my god, Lauren, is your ego that fragile? Jeez. This unforgivable <laughs> rat. <laughs> oh my god, Lauren. You are just the worst. <laughs> No, oh, the crystal. Show it to him. Who gave you this crystal? He brought the glowing crystal in front of Draco, and his cloudy eyes lazily found it. Oh, shiny thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you this? Who hired you? Druid, mirth out with it. No one hired me. Polymesha was silent for a moment. That's impossible. Are you not an agent, but a direct enemy of one of us here? Enemy? I want to be your friend. Can I have the shiny rock? It's so shiny. What is that? Sorry. Beg your pardon. <laughs> My house phone. <laughs> it's, it's not only shiny, but it's musical as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> and sometimes it sounds like a Pomeranian. <laughs> yep. He's like, I also think that Lauren's hair could use less conditioner. <laughs> and what's up with her armor? <laughs> Are you all set, Laura? I oh, know I didn't answer that. I just ignored it. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> what you should do with phones. <laughs> I don't think he knew he had it. 
And who was he thinking about behind the bushes then? <laughs> Has your magic failed, old mage, or does he speak the truth? Even the old wizard could not believe what he had heard. Do you mean this party any ill will? No. I, I like you guys. <laughs> Even though Lauren's a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> Rat! Uh, Polymesha waved his hand, and the clouds from Draco's eyes disappeared, as well as the light that was binding him. What? What just happened? Uh, my head hurts. They were silent for a while, all feeling guilty for what they had just done to him. Yeah, that's not cool. We found this crystal in your belongings. Mine? Are you sure? I've never seen that before in my life. Someone wants to cause a war. He, his sudden vindictiveness, vindictiveness drew everyone's attention. Slipping that stone into a party traveling into elven territories it was a conscious decision on someone's part to start a war. A war? Over a stone? It is not the crystal that offends. If these shadow men had arrived while we were in an elven town, we would have all been killed as spies. I am the arch wizard of the Council of Elders of Grimoire. We would take that personally and declare war. We are fortunate that this attack came when it did. My accent's going. I apologize. I'm just too, t- <laughs> I'm just too tired. <laughs> oh, I love you all. Uh, we were just attacked, so I do not consider this fortunate in any way. Whatever tensions may be between humans and elves is not my concern. But he said he doesn't find me attractive, and I must kill him for that. <laughs> so I'm not even going to get an apology. I think my forehead's starting to swell. Being cautious is the only trait that keeps you alive. I'll apologize for the bump on your head and nothing more. You brought this upon us, whether you knew it or not. You let your guard down yet again and let someone sneak something into your bag. We've lost our chance to sleep thanks to you, and now we must press on. (laughs) She's harsh. (laughs) Yeah. Already, we've just set up camp. No, I spent hours fluffing these pillows for you, your highness. <laughs> We'd risk more shadow creatures if we were to stay. Lauren grabbed the crystal and slammed it to the ground, shattering it into pieces. Move out. Yes, your highness, your highness. <laughs> Lauren had been a cold-hearted woman from the, in the beginning. When I remember her now... Oh, okay, I'm going to guess this is Saren, so... Lauren had been a cold-hearted woman in the beginning. When I remember her now, ooh, rests. It's hard not to think of her as a completely <laughs> different person. Okay, so camp is set up. How much longer do we have in this episode? Actually, we had nine seconds. So we're going to have to do <laughs> camp stuff next time. All right. Wunderbar. Um, so let's save. There we go. Return. So, what was the thing you wanted to ask the people to say, Laura? So, will this be a week on Monday then, yeah? Well, actually, um, I'm probably going to do... This one is actually going to be when, no, uh, Wednesday or Friday, so... Oh, well, I was just interested in people's Thanksgiving plans. What oh, they were okay, doing yeah. for Thanksgiving and things like that. So, I'm quite interested because we don't have Thanksgiving over here, as you guys know, so... I love to hear what you guys do and what you are up to and stuff like that. Yeah, you should let us know. I, I like hearing about it too. We are having, um, we're having a brined turkey with um, candied yams with like a meringue on them. He makes like we'll make some meringue instead of a marshmallow thing, um, and cornbread stuffing and uh, mashed potatoes. Lovely and homemade cranberry sauce. And I go up to the turkey and go, you get a rapide, but it's only going to be for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so, I hope you all have a great time in Thanksgiving. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 
most definitely. So thanks to you all. Please remember to definitely leave us a comment and a like. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.